You worked with Johnny Cash. Yeah, we did a couple of tours with him. Worked with Carnegie Hall and uh, worked with. Was this was this before he made the big change? Well, I think it was during the time that he was getting ready to make the big change. <laughs> he um, he was uh, he was he was a strange one after a while. Well, this was during the time when he was uh, rather strange. <laughs> yeah, we were we were we're not talking behind his back because he didn't mind because that was a matter of. Uh, uh, record anyhow you that's, know that he right. had a problem for a while with the fields and so forth but but he always was always a great guy to oh work he was with. a lot of fun to work with really. yeah had a good time all the time and marshall and luther that worked with him at the time were just great that the three of them were great people when did your career as a group really take off i think um probably uh, in the late 60s, 68, 69, along in there, when we started recording with MGM Records and Cowboy Jack Clements was producing us. I think that was oh, probably yeah. when things really started happening. By the, by the late 60s and early 70s, you had really achieved great success as a group. Now, why did you go your separate ways? <clears throat> well, <laughs> you can answer that, Jim. I think uh, we were working real hard in those days. We had a publishing company and recording studio. We employed a lot of people. Yeah. We worked in the office all through the week, traveled on the weekends, and we're really working a pretty hectic seven day a week schedule. And you and had the uh, publishing company. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chuck had discovered John Hartford, the writer of Gentle on My Mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a lot of people that were depending on us. And after a while, that just kind of gets kind of on your nerves, I guess. And our musical tastes were beginning to go slightly in separate directions as well. Mm -hmm. And it just was something that in 1973 we sort of decided we'd go separate directions for. Well, you got to find out those things. Well, you do. That's, uh, I think that was pretty healthy, wasn't it? We'd been together really since we were children. Mm -hmm. You know, we never had uh, done anything. Been separate. out on your own. Right. Here are the Glazer Brothers back in 1968 with one of their big hits. One of these days. Tom, Paul, and the Glazers singing One of These Days. Now, uh, we've heard an awful lot about this outlaw movement. What did you have to do with that, Tom, Paul? Well, that's a, it's kind of a strange story. Really, a lot of the records that uh, people like Willie and Waylon and Amy Lou Harris and Christopherson, the records we were making then were outlawed from the uh, country music format, and they weren't being programmed. So. A lot of us just went up in Glazer's studio and started making records uh, the way we wanted them. But now, uh, speaking of the outlaws, you were uh, uh, in there with Willie and Waylon. Who all was in there? You had a platinum record, a platinum album? Yeah, there was Jesse Coulter and myself and Waylon and Willie, and it was on RCA Victor. It's called Wanted the Outlaws. 
and it was uh, filled with music that was formerly outlawed from radio station formats. They thought it was either too country or too rock or too something. They just wouldn't play it. Is that what you quite call it, outlawed? Yeah, there was a little disc jockey down in South Carolina who started calling it outlawed music. Oh. And they started calling us the outlaws. It was later on they got to talking about it like a lifestyle, but it was really because the music was outlawed yeah. from the format. But later on they started programming everybody a lot. Yeah. But that was the first uh, country album recorded in Nashville to sell to go platinum. It went double platinum, nearly four million now. Was you and Waylon and Willie all in it? Yeah. Did uh, but they did recorded it here in Nashville? Yeah. Yeah. A uh, little over half of it was done at Glazer Studio. Did you ever go out to Texas to record? No. Willie? No, no. He came down to our place a few times and yeah. recorded. But there wasn't even a, really a good studio back then out in Texas. You really had, but you had your own <coughs> studio. Yeah. You still got most that? Of the, yeah, most of it was recorded there in our studio. Yeah. That's Especially Wayland's stuff and Jesse's and, and mine. We'll be right back with Tom Paul and the Glazer Brothers after this. Uh -huh. 